Greetings, everyone. I'm Luke Brian Smith, and welcome to Enlightened, Empowered, Evolved. Hope everybody's doing well. Wait, I believe everybody's doing well. I have faith everyone's doing well, and everything is just unfolding perfectly, including today. Everything is always unfolding perfectly, and I'm so excited. You all know that I always say that I'm excited because it is true. I don't just say that as a routine or just part of my dialogue. Well, it is part of my dialogue now, but I'm always excited to talk to new people. And today is no exception. I have on the show today, I have Marlene Dillon. And before she tells you anything about her, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about her. So Mar Marlene Dillon, is the Chief Empowerment Officer of M. Dillon Designs and Publishing. She is a multi-gifted single mom, an artist, children's author, blogger, course creator, graphic and product designer, motivational speaker, podcaster, and publisher. Wow, many hats. She has two self-published children's books, The Lovely Prince, and I'm proud to be natural me. She has a product line, Proud to be natural me that celebrates curly hair and the spectrum of melanin through personalized natural hair teas, birthday party decor, and more through her Share and Let Live podcast on SoundCloud and her blog, Marlene Dillon, Empowerment Specialist, empowers listeners and readers to join her on a journey of personal growth. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. And I already have some questions in my mind to ask. But before I do, how are you doing today, Marlene Dillon? <laughs> I'm actually doing really well. Thank you so much for inviting me to do your show. Um, and of course, I'm a little nervous, but I know that I'm going to be just fine. <laughs> yes, absolutely. We're just having a conversation and people um, it, it, you know, my audience, I'm sure I, I can speak for them on in, in this regards that they enjoy just as much as me listening to people and learning. We all learn from each other. And this is part of the reasons why I created this platform is to highlight um, what I like to call extraordinary people around the world, everyday extraordinary people. I think we're all extraordinary and unique and highlight those people that just do amazing things around the world because when you get to know people and have conversations, you find out, you know, everybody has some talent, some passion, some gift. And I just love learning, you know, just absorbing and learning and seeing pe other people's personalities. And it's just amazing. And so I'm so thankful to have you here today, Marlene. And let's just, let's just hop right into it. So you're the Chief Empowerment Officer of M. Dillon Designs and Publishing. Let's just start there. How did that come into fruition and what, what inspired you to do that? You know, it's actually funny. Um, I periodically have like visions. <laughs> um, so right, right, I'll right. wake up with I'll wake up with a song, I'll wake up with an idea, I'll wake up with like a new product or whatever, but this time I woke up with the name and I just like saw the words like right before I woke up I'm doing designs and publishing wow. at the time I wasn't publishing anything <laughs> and um and as I uh, moved forward in school in design school I had an assignment to uh basically to create a book um from scratch. oh so you went to design school I did amazing yeah. amazing yeah yeah. yeah, if I might elaborate real quick before, I, I don't want you to use, lose your train of thought, but I just had to to, to comp comment and compliment you on how amazing that is. And I'm thank thanking you to share, thanking you for sharing that basically your intuition or God mm -hmm. within spoke to you in our, our subconscious minds, if you want to get really scientific about it. Our subconscious mind have a lot, a lot of answers in there that come to yeah. us while we're especially while we're sleeping, that's why it's important. Yeah. I want to elaborate on this. Important bef before you go to bed, make sure you put some of them positive thoughts in there or yeah. put some of those questions in your head. Hey, what do I do before I go to bed? And you ne you will be surprised. Answers will come to you. So go ahead. True. I have heard that and I don't use that enough like to put a, a question first. I try yes. to put positive thoughts before I go to bed just so that I'm not marinating on negativity right right sleep. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to start using that, that tool for um, asking right. questions. You, that I basically, ask. yeah, not, not to, not to get off topic, but you just, you just inspired me to, to talk about this. So this is a, this is an extension from, from what you just shared with us, but mm -hmm. yes, your sub, your, your conscious mind is what you, what, what has the doubt and what tells mm -hmm. you that you can't do something. Your conscious mind has all the answers and it, comes mm -hmm. from also what you put into it. So that's why on top of that, be careful what you put into it, the conversations you have, the the music you listen to, the movies you watch, because all that stuff goes and gets recorded in, in our subconscious mind and it yes. turns into things. So, but our subconscious mind, um, I believe this is just me, is a, is a gift from God um, and, yeah. and part of God, part of the universe that creates our circumstances and comes with these answers that our conscious mind does not have and you just affirm that through what you just said so you woke up and had it yes, yes. Well, that's amazing so yeah Love use that, that exercise when you have uh something that you're contemplating ask mm -hmm. yourself yourself which is you're talking to your subconscious mind right uh you know subconscious mind or god or universe Please reveal to me as I sleep uh, the correct answer to this to this uh, this this uh, adversity, this problem, or what I perceive as a problem, even though it's not. Please yeah. reveal to me, you know. Allow me, you know, work your magic, you know, or whatever you want to put it. Yeah, you know, and I love that, and it happens. So you came with this. I you got this idea when you woke up, and then what happened from there? Yeah. So when I was in design school, I received an assignment to basically write a story so that we had to um, we did all kinds of design ideas and projects and art projects. And one of them was to create our own book and bind it ourselves. And uh, we needed to write a story in order to do it. So when I read the story in class, everyone was just like, you should get that published, <laughs> which is where the Lonely Prince comes from. So that ended up being the first book that I published. <laughs> wow. And then it and started that to make book sense. is a, entitled what again? The Lonely Prince. The it's Lonely a, Prince. Yeah, by Marlene it's a fairy tale. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a fairy oh, I'm tale. I have to look into that because I'm an avid yeah. uh, reader. So and I, and I love uh, uh, getting books for my for my daughter and my kids as well. Wow. So yeah, I want to I want to get yeah. in that. And that's on. Amazon? It's on Amazon. Okay. Yes, yeah, on Amazon. And I did, it's like a flip on the common fairy tale um, where it's a prince instead of a princess. <laughs> and, okay. Yeah, it's a it's a really cute story. Okay. So that started my publishing. Um, and then it then it started to make sense because I knew like being in design school, the designs part made sense. But when the publishing came in, then I was just like, okay, now I see where we're going. <laughs> so it's like you were saying, like your subconscious mind, like already has all of that information. <laughs> right. right um, and right, I didn't know, I didn't know at the time that publishing was even in my future. So. Yeah. If I may even suggest just to elaborate on, and I'll get off this because I want to continue on with you. If I may suggest um, yeah. you uh, getting the book, The Power of the Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. It will help you just... <laughs> That book has changed my life in regards to um, being able to, you know, get out of my own way and, and, and make things yeah. manifest for me by using my own power that we've been given. And a lot of people don't know that, you know, so. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And I'm familiar and, and with. Forget, with oh, so okay. I'm going to get that book. I have. Yeah. I if, I was about to say, if you forget, uh, let me know and I'll send you. But I have like four books of, of from Joseph Murphy and he's really. Uh, mm -hmm. He really yeah. rides that line between spirituality and science and proven yes. theories as well as, you know, spiritual uh, things as well. He's really connected, you know, with his spiritual side. So it just it really resonated with me as so some things at first I didn't understand. But then, you know, think as I started to, you know, live after I've read it, that information mm -hmm. started to make a lot more sense. And it's yes. just amazing. But yeah, he has a book called The Power of Prayer and everything. And to make sure that every prayer you say is not asking and begging, but it's mm. it's, th it's basically thanking like it's already so because everything, yeah. especially that you ask for, that's healthy and whatever is going to come to you. So it's not like, please give me. No, no yes. don't, don't have those feelings because then you're 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 basically saying that you're not getting it or you're afraid that you won't. So exactly. 
Oh, that's awesome. Come, yeah. yeah. That's come boldly. <laughs> come boldly when you ask yes. or when you say claim it bo bo boldly. Like I'm yeah. thankful that I already have this financial blessing that I'm that I know I'm it's coming to me in multiple mul through multiple sources. Just, you know, I've learned, I've changed the way that I uh, talk and, and yes. pray, you know. It's affirmative Same. prayers now. You know, yeah, empowering so prayers now, not victim and begging and pleading and crying yeah. and guilt prayers. No more of that. Nice. <laughs> so Thank yes, you. that's amazing. And so, okay, you're 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 you have two uh, children's book. What was the what's the second one? So the other is I'm proud to be natural me, and that's the one that I'm most known for because that birthed all my brand and pretty much <laughs> most of what I do came through that book. Right. And let's let's just and that's also on Amazon. Yes, it's also on Amazon. So the story is um, it's a story of a little girl who was teased because of the texture of her hair. And her mom right. explains to her, your hair is part of your identity. You're beautiful the way God created you. So by the end of the story, she's saying, I've learned to love what I see. I'm proud to be natural me. So it's a beautiful story where you get to like as children are reading along, they are getting the story, which is entertaining and they can relate to it but at the same time every other page says i'm proud to be natural me so it uses positive affirmation so that by the end of the story they've gained that message for themselves you know that's amazing and i know now and i'm going to tell you this that i'm meant to get that book because i also uh purchased a book maybe about a year ago for mm -hmm. my daughter that's along those same lines and i forgot the name but i'll, I'll get it to you later and yeah. my daughter read that and she was in a beauty pageant and part of her speech that she gave was based on that, based on everyone yeah. being different and that she used to be teased about her hair and, and but everybody's mm -hmm. unique. And she's I mean, that's amazing that you just said that it just turned on a light and it just reminded me because I, I brought I uh, got a book that's in that same energy that, that talked about. It's so okay. needed because um, I, is. of course, grew up with that, with the messaging, and that's kind of what it came out of was that it is. messaging that's that very empowered type of texture. Yeah, yeah. like certain textures are better than others, and that yeah. sort of thing, and certain yeah. skin tones are better than others. And yeah, because because oftentimes, I, and I don't I don't want to get too deep into it, but you'll know where I'm going with this. But oftentimes, um, in in our culture, and in, in especially in in our commercial commercialized culture, you know, um, enough of us don't get that, uh, you know, empowerment about ourselves where we get everything is supposed to look one way and this is yeah. good, but everything outside of that is not, or this exactly. is good and on this level, but everything is on this level isn't, and it, we're all unique. And right. We do need more. Um, and I'm speaking, you know, from a man of color, we do yeah. need more things out there for yeah. people like us and um you know our children to see to be proud of so that they can have some confidence and not allow anyone to come to them because of some in turn their um own own natural uh looks into something bad because it's not bad exactly. you know yeah. so i i applaud you for putting something Thank out you. there that's empowering you know you know, for our, our little girls and little boys to 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 be able to to be proud about. And I think that's amazing. And, that, you know, that also, you know, hopefully even some other people that, you know, can can look at that and, and, and learn some insight as well. But that that's amazing. Thank you. I think that's absolutely amazing. And you're also a blogger, course creator, uh, graphic and product designer. So let, let's talk about that. So you, you have a let, let's just elaborate on one real quick a blogger so what do you do uh, on your blog or where is the blog so um so my blog is on my website mdillondesigns.com okay um, and mdillondesigns.com everybody yeah. you got that we'll repeat yeah. it at the end of the show go ahead absolutely yeah so it's on my um on my website as well as i post um like on my facebook page and on my uh my Say M, my Marlene and Marlene Dillon <laughs> empowerment specialist page. Okay. I've posted on there as well. Um, and basically it's always inspirational. Um, I have a, a phrase that, um, that I've used from my first workshop, which is that I use people, but it's I is for inspire, U is for uplift, S for support, and E is for encourage and empower. So See? I, yeah. 
I can see right there and see that you have this gift for taking mm -hmm. what people perceive as negative and turning it into a positive. That is amazing. Absolutely. Use of the word yeah. use. That's amazing. Go ahead. Yeah. So, yeah. So I basically that's what I do through my um, through my blog and also through my podcast is that I share stories because um, in my family storytelling is a big thing um, at like holidays or anytime at a kitchen at, like at the dinner table or whatever you can barely like we talk over each other to tell our stories right, so right. I use um, use my natural gift and the training that I have in storytelling as well as the masters in counseling I have that allows me to know how to um, how to motivate people how to encourage people how to get people to uh make adjustments in, you know, how we show up in life. And I, I add it all together and create these stories of what I'm dealing with in a current moment and the epiphanies that I have and the practices that I employ to get around what my mind is doing. <laughs> Cause that that's usually amazing. Cause that's what we need. We need that. Yeah. And people need relatable, not to cut you off, but people need no. uh, relatable stories to say, Hey, I've been through something similar like that. And, exactly. and then, um, you know, advice or or at least testimony as to how they can navigate uh yes. you know through this because everything mm -hmm. I, I am a firm believer things things in our perception it, they can be hard and i mean physically emotionally everything uh mentally yeah. it can be hard but there's always i believe that everybody's stronger than anything that can happen to you or yes. you know and i believe yes. also i'm a firm believer i, I change my my thing i don't even want to say happen to you i think everything happens for you even though you don't yes. know and I know I that. that's a touchy thing to say because people can say, well, my mom just died. That happened for me or this. Yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to get that technical. I, I can't answer all the questions that, you yeah. know, the universe or God has planned or whatever or what, uh, you know, this is unfolding in whose life. But I do believe that for the most part, things are happening for our benefit and that we can grow from everything that happens for us. And you're mm -hmm. uh, um, what you how what you just laid out there. Um, it's just further affirmation that that is true because yeah. you immediately said you're laying out basically don't quote, I'm not quoting you word for word, but you basically said that you talk about the scenarios and the, um, and the adversities and then how yeah. you, how you navigate through get over them. So that is amazing. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I, I believe that things happen, you know, for good ultimately. So right. even, so even in the lowest times of my life, I remember saying to myself, like, even if it's not for me, it might be for someone else, right. you know, and and I've had that experience of looking back and saying like, oh, OK, now I know what the, what I went through that for, because I was able to support somebody as they went through it later or, you know, or be able to connect with somebody because of that. So, yeah, right. so I, I do agree with that. Yeah. And I believe that we like we have power in our mind. So if you already gear your yeah. mind that no matter what happens, yeah, everything is for my benefit. Just keep a mindset yeah. like that. You know, that yeah. everything happens for our benefit. And, I, and, and I'm not trying to say that all of a sudden nothing's going to happen. No adversity is going to happen. I'm not saying that or things yeah. might turn or, turn around immediately. But if you start really focusing and even before you go to bed, just tell yourself everything happens for my greatest good. It, it propels me to my higher self, to my better yeah. self, everything, everything. And just keep living like that and really believing that and, and, yeah. and without attachment to any little thing that happens to try to challenge that, you know, or yeah. try to say, no, that ain't true. You know, no, stick with that. You know what? This is hard. I got a flat tire, but you know what, though? I'm, I'm still alive. I made it through it. I still believe everything happens for my, my benefit. I still believe it. Maybe this slowed me down because it was an, a bad accident up front. Like somebody could have crashed into me or something. No, but just, just start walking through life believing that, you know, and knowing that everything um, it has a lesson within it and everything yeah. happens for your highest good. And just keep that mentality. And even when you falter and you have your weak moments or whatever you you do or have an off day, whatever. Don't beat yourself up. Get back on it. Say, okay, yesterday I didn't do as good with that, with that mindset, but today I'm gonna jump back on it. You know, exactly. I, exactly. whatever you do to encourage yourself and keep on moving. So that's right. That's yeah. right. So, that's yeah. so you're also uh 
a designer now designer of what so um okay, i know so you I design started, book, you create books but okay go ahead yeah yep i do my own illustrations for my books i lay them all out myself everything is me <laughs> so okay, okay. that's that's in one area but i also um created a full brand off of um the the uh the images in my children's book i'm proud to be natural me so i have natural hair um inspired t-shirts and things like that but they're usually with like a positive affirmation like um i'm beautiful and I know that because or I'm proud to be natural me because and then all of my products are you can personalize them on the in the store so you can put in your own this is why I believe in myself um you know message oh, on the t-shirts on the coffee mugs um I have uh, you know keychains all kinds of different things so Very the people, empowering. and then birthday for birthdays as well. Uh, birthday teas you can personalize the, the like on the back. It's like you could put your age and your name and all right. that sort of thing. Yeah. Um. So I, it's it's really because I want to send that message that we are beautiful too. You know that we can have ourselves on our on the clothes we wear. We don't like when my daughter was little, every time a birthday came around, it was like, do you want it to be Doc McStuffins or, or Tiana, you know? And it was just like the, the spectrum of all the other pr princesses and all the other characters, but there were just like, you know, two or three um, characters that looked like her. And right. especially as she got older, it was just like, I do not want Doc McStuffins on my birthday stuff. So yeah, I- Yeah, that's played out. Yeah, you know. So like, you I'm get, you have, some, you know, you get, you you put some more um, alternatives out there. Exactly. So it's the full spectrum from like the darkest shade all the way. Like I have um, a character with albinism, um, both male and female. I have a uh, wow. character with vitiligo. Um, yeah, because I just want all kids to recognize everybody how just to be happy are. with who they are and how they exactly. are. Exactly. And that's exactly. some, that's so empowering. And I'm so, um, and I, I don't mean to cut you off, but I'm just so, um, I'm so happy, you know, to be speaking with you because I, I'm just an advocate for just empowerment, you know, and yes. just for you to just find where there's a void um, yes. and, and feel that and help. You can, you know, potentially help so many people. Uh, yeah. feel better about themselves and the skin that they're in and the body that they're in. That's just so amazing what you're doing. And, and Thank I, you. and I, I pray and, and just send out positive vibes that that will just continue to just, uh, just flourish and grow, and, you. you know, a million Thank fold. You. So amazing. Thank we you. need that. Thank you. I received that. <laughs> yes. 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 So that, that is beautiful. So, um, how can people buy these products? Uh, um, are they in any stores or can they go directly to your website and click some links? I mean, how can people, what's the easiest way or go all the ways website. that people, okay. Yeah, my website is the easiest way. Everything, everything is linked there. So okay. if people go to mdillondesigns.com, they can find my blog, they can find my products, they can find my parenting course, uh, communication course, they can find, your oh. merchandise <laughs> yes my merchandise merchandise yes. they have Merch pictures of, yeah. the, of, of things to show them some samples yes they can okay. go straight there and it'll um, lead them to all the options so yeah books and everything from your website books. yep everything one stop shop yep, M. Dillon, exactly. uh, what is the website again i want to say it again yep mdillondesigns.com mdillondesigns.com you guys yep. and ladies girls boys men women go to that website and just browse through it and check it out you know Thank you. you need some empowering um i think everybody needs empowering but just check it out so uh support um you know show some support and just just look you never know what you might yeah. find what might speak to you so that is amazing so I, are, are there before we conclude the segment is there any um Anything that you would like to to say or share or last words or anything? Sure. Um, well, first of all, thank you for having me. Uh, this has been really awesome. And um, I think that my general belief uh, is something that I, I actually learned it from Mother Teresa, um, where she said that, you know, 
every every day try to find one person who feels that they're alone and show them that they're not. And that's basically my philosophy with the things that I do. I, I want to empower others so that everyone, you know, even if it's just one person in a day, it makes me feel that I was successful if I was able to let somebody know that they're not alone. So that's my message. Yeah. Wow. I applaud you. Thank you very much. That was so inspiring. And I received that. And I hope everybody else receives that as well, because that's a great uh, philosophy and a great uh, perspective. And it's, it's you can just tell that it's a uh, it's it's love based and it's just yes. beautiful and Thank you. yes and and I appreciate you again and want to express my sincerest gratitude to you as well for for taking time out of your uh, your life to spend a few moments with me and talking to me and this like I told you I already said look how smooth this went and you know yes. and it's amazing I think we could even talk longer but we'll save that for next time I want to have you on here again maybe talking a little bit more about your books and maybe showcasing them you know for have Absolutely. a children's segment um, just so many ideas but yeah. I think we did a, a very uh, uh amazing um uh job today and had a, a, a very peaceful loving um informative uh dialogue and I just appreciate it thank you very much thank you. Thank you so much. Your show is amazing. I, I love what you're doing, for putting positivity into the world and empowering people. It's just really beautiful. And I learned things today. So thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, and thank you, everyone, for watching. I appreciate everyone uh, for spending some of your time here and just checking me out and, and uh, just watching this show. And for those of you that this is your first time, thank you very much. And I appreciate you all here on Enlightened, Empowered, Evolved. I'll see you soon.